guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So what I'm doing here today is just a quick little um, unboxing, but I already, you know, removed the box and all that. But um, I really wanted to share something that I just got. I think they're absolutely wonderful. And um, it is a box that I got that I purchased from um, Drew over at She Who Walks Between the Worlds and her um, website is Creations from the Hollow. I believe it's creationsfromthehollow.com. Um, it doesn't show on here. I, I believe that's what it was on the website. I will be putting the link down below for you guys. So I ordered a few things I thought were really cool. She's got a very beautiful website, so definitely go and check it out. Um, but so the first thing that I got, I love her wrapping too. These are 100% beeswax and they're element candles. And let me show you what that means. I think they're absolutely wonderful. You see there, you've got your four water or your two water, fire, air, and earth. <laughs> I don't want to take them out because I don't want to lose all of the, the herbs that she's got them all rubbed in, which are wonderful. So I wanted to do some elemental magic. There we go. Which, you guys know, I plan on making those... Um, uh, like wood discs, elemental wood discs for my walls for, you know, the four, four um, directional walls in my witchy room in order to create my own magical universe. So I plan on using these. I would have put them in my video um, when I was doing that, but they had not arrived yet. So I didn't order them in time, but I'm still going to use them. The second thing that I ordered was some garnet powder because as a Capricorn being born in January my birthstone is garnet and so I want to use it in my um in something I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to use it in but I thought it was really really cool and it's in a powder form and this is good size so she did a lot of grinding the third thing I got, which was really cool, I wanted to try out these kind of candles that she got. She's got, and I find the evil eye, and in, very interesting because it also like, I believe it started like, in Egypt. So, well, let's see. The evil eye is well known throughout history. It's mentioned in ancient Greek and Roman texts as well as many famous. Literary works. The evil eye is a human look believed to cause harm to someone or something else. The supernatural harm may come in the form of anything from a minor misfortune to disease, injury, or even death. The association of special powers with the eye is not hard to fathom. Eyes, it is said, are the gateway to the soul. This candle is intended to counter disharm disharmonious or ill-intended energy that you may encounter. You know, something, because if you watched my video um, on the elements and me talking about, you know, not uh, doing circles because I believe, you know, you, what you put your focus on, more or less that's what you get. But I still do, don't get me wrong, I still use protective magic. I think it's wise to use it, but it's like not my sole purpose. I use it in conjunction with other magic but put a level of protection in there. But I thought that this was very interesting and she's got other ones on there too. Look at how cool that is. That is friggin' amazing. So I'm looking forward to um, burning this in s some sort of work. So those were the three things that I had ordered. And then she sent me some other stuff. So she sent me, bless her heart, uh, 
incense matches, which I've never seen these before. I had never used them. This one is sandalwood. I mean, I've seen them before, but I've never used them. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I want to try one because they smell really good. I'm going to wrap it right back up. Oh, wow, that smells so good. Yeah, that smells good. Are you supposed to leave it? That burned down one. Oh. Okay, well, I just screwed that up, didn't I? I wonder if I can... Probably not. No. Nope. We're going to try this again. Makes sense. I'm just a dip. Oops. Come on, my goodness gracious. It's just one of those days, right? <laughs> so we're going to let it burn down like halfway. Like it suggests. There we go. Now you can see that it's actually. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that smells so good. I'm just going to put it over here. Beautiful. I love it. So that was a wonderful gift that she gave me. And then I find this so cool. She also gave me one of these. It is something that she made, I believe, cre Creations from the Hollow. Uh, Prosperity Charm. Thank you for your purchase. May you always be blessed with prosperity. This charm has been infused with tonka bean, cloves, cinnamon, high john, and more. Place it on your altar in the prosperity corner of your home or use in spell work. And I happen to have a prosperity altar in the prosperity corner of my home. So this is definitely going on it and it's perfect. Thank you so much, Drew. And then I suppose I should put these back over here so you can see them. And she gave me another gift. This, I've never had this one before, pre-night. And it can be used, it's strung, so it's it can be used in like a, here, let me pull it out. Is that a thing? In a focal, you know, as a focal, where's the top? Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah. I am so just absolutely loving on these items. I'm excited to use these um, with my... Uh, work that I'm going to be doing with all of the, you know, elemental symbol wood slices that I'm putting in the room. And then, you know, I'm excited to use all of them. I might end up putting some of this in my black salt concoctions. Maybe. We'll see. So I will be putting a link down below to Drew's channel, which is She Who Walks Between the Worlds. And also to her website, which I believe is creationsfromthehollow.com. But I will be putting it down below. I hope you have enjoyed this. And I hope you go and check it out. She has a beautiful website. So I am sending you love and love. Thank you so much. <laughs>